Today I'm on Cairn Money Hill in Newton Abbey, just north of Belfast in Northern Ireland. Now this hill, far from just being a beautiful place to go on walks and trips, is also home to 5G coverage from all four operators, courtesy of two masts, one of which you can see behind me here. Thanks to this hill's unique location and elevation, any equipment up here is well placed to serve the communities of Newton Abbey behind me, as well as parts of Belfast, which are visible from other locations um, on the top of this hill. The first mast we'll talk about is the one that's been in the background of much of the video so far, the Ken Money Hill TV transmitter. So this is a digital TV relay for this part of Northern Ireland, as well as carrying DAB and FM services as well. But what we are interested in is the cellular equipment about a third of the way down the mast. So this is O2 host Ericsson RAN vendor equipment, which broadcasts the full spectrum of 2G through to 5G for host O2 as well as share and network Vodafone. In terms of the exact technologies and frequencies, so for both providers this has 2G and 3G on 900 MHz, 4G on 2100 MHz and 800 MHz, and then it also has 4G on 1800 MHz for O2. 5G is N78 at 40 MHz for O2 as well as on Vodafone and given the similarities of spectrum across 4G and 5G the resulting dual connectivity performance between both operators is very similar achieving between about 300 and 400 megabits per second. The Ericsson active RAN equipment is connected to high-end Huawei passive antennas which feature a number of cluster ports, two of which carry the 88R 5G. In fact, this site only has one Ericsson 88R remote radio for 5G per sector, which means that the power per megahertz of 5G is quite low because of the 80 megahertz total bandwidth that is broadcast. The next mask that I am going to talk about is visible if I just turn around a little bit. You'll be able to see it behind me from this angle and the site here is for EE and 3, the other two operators with 5G on this hill. This site has a flagship gigabit capable configuration for 3 with 100 megahertz of massive MIMO 5G as well as a full 4 transmit 4G configuration with 3's 4 4G carriers. EE meanwhile has 40 MHz of HAR 5G and a very basic 30 MHz paired of 2 transmit 4G using just 1800 MHz with EE's performance being in 300 megabits per second territory. Thanks for watching. It's just so beautiful up here. I I just can't.